This is a video on the understanding of the external rotation test for a high ankle sprain. Here's the test description and note the sensitivity and specificity. First we want to understand the mechanism. So a high ankle sprain is an injury to the distal tibiofibular joint. And we see here a football player landing on the tibia with a foot planted in the ground, which will force the ankle joint or the Taylor curl joint into external rotation, gapping the distal tibiofibular joint. Here we see a player um, experiencing a lot of knee valgus, but at the same time we see this internal rotation of the tibia on a planted a foot, which would then also result in external rotation at the Taylor curl joint. So the mechanism of injury for a high ankle sprain is typically a planted foot with external uh, rotation. We should also note that the dorsiflexion position is more likely to uh, result in a high ankle sprain than a plantar flex position. So if we compare a dorsiflex position here, remember posteriors to your left, anteriors to your right, we can see that the talus here, when it's um, dorsiflexed, is fully congruent with the mortise of the ankle. And so rotation in a dorsiflex position will tend to protect the talocural ligaments. Here we see the calcaneofibular and the um, anterior talofibular, but it'll gap or force open the distal tib fib joint. We can also see that in plantar flexion, there's less stability. You can see the, the trochlea of the talus here, uh, but in plantar flexion is exposed. Okay, and that means that there's basically less congruity at the joint, and so the joint has more uh, flexibility in that position. Here again is a um, anterior view of the Taylor curl joint, and you can imagine if you twist this um, uh, trochlea of the talus into external rotation, it would cause this uh, the mortise to gap, potentially damaging the distal tibiofibular joint. And there's um, some explanation of the gapping and an arrow that's supposed to indicate external rotation. And here's an example of the, the test itself. So you have the person um, either uh, sitting or in here in a supine position, and then you rotate the ankle into external rotation. And then here they're measuring gapping with an ultrasound probe. And you can kind of see the distance in this syndesmosis here. And so this kind of wide gapping would indicate a sprain.